Mike Conley is known as being one of the most underrated point guards in the NBA the last couple of years, and in today's video, we will be looking at some things you may not know about him. This is 10 things the media doesn't tell you about Mike Conley Jr. Conley's dad, Mike Conley Sr., was a very good athlete himself. So much of an athlete that he was chosen to participate in the 1992 Foot Locker Celebrity Dunk Contest. In this contest, he competed against other big name athletes such as Chris Carter, Barry Bonds, Michael Irvin, and even Deion Sanders. To show off his insane athletic ability, Conley even threw down a dunk where he jumped from behind the free throw line behind it and yes he completed his dunk from behind the free throw line michael jordan jumped from the free throw line but mike conley senior jumped from behind before it. the 2018 to 2019 nba season mike conley had never won a player of the week award which is surprising because he's had a season where he put up 20 and 6 a game but no, not a single player of the week award for Mike Conley. But on March 11, 2019, he finally won the player of the week award. And that week, he averaged 31.3 points per game in his three games where he led Memphis to a 3-0 record. He also led the league in fourth quarter scoring with 15 points per fourth quarter. And his shooting splits were also crazy. They were off the charts with 57.4% shooting from the field and 55.6% shooting from the three-point line. Conley definitely deserved to be played of the week for this week. In the 2016 offseason, a lot of players got a huge payday and a lot of players got terrible contracts that they didn't deserve and you could say Mike Conley was even one of them because of how much he got. But one thing is for sure, Mike Conley deserved his bag way more than Nick Batum deserved his. In the 2016 to 2017 season, Mike Conley was the highest paid point guard in the NBA and the second highest paid player in the league behind LeBron James as Conley was earning $26.5 million that year. He remained in the top 10 highest paid players until last year. In the 2007 NBA draft, the draft Conley was drafted in, Greg Oden went first overall. These two players that were the first and fourth pick had some history together. Both Mike Conley and Greg Oden were in the same class and attended the exact same high school, Lawrence North High School. These two would absolutely dominate in high school, more to come on that later, but these two were not done. They also went to Ohio State to play there one year in college, and then they ended up being both top five draft picks in the same draft. That's really interesting. Despite having some really good years in the NBA, Mike Conley has never made an all-star appearance and he is one of the best players in the league to never make an all-star appearance. His two best seasons were the 2017 season and the 2019 season. In 2017, he averaged 20.5 points per game and 6.3 assists. And in 2019, he averaged 21.1 points per game and 6.4 assists. But both times, this was not enough for him to be an all-star. During their time in high school together, Mike Conley and Greg Oden completely dominated their competition. They won three consecutive 4A state championships. And in Conley's four years as the starting point guard, he finished with a record of 103 to seven losses. Oden finished first in the class rankings and Conley ended up being ranked 18th as both were five-star recruits. He even finished second in Indiana Mr. Basketball voting behind his own teammate Greg Oden and he got selected to the McDonald's All-American team too. Earlier on in the video, we discussed Mike Conley Sr., the father of Conley, being a very gifted athlete, but he also had an accomplishment even more impressive than dunking from behind the free throw line. He is actually an Olympic gold medalist. At the 1992 Summer Olympics, Mike Conley Sr. received a gold medal for the men's triple jump. Mike Conley has some very athletic genes, but it's clear that his father was a whole lot more athletic, but he was just the much better basketball player. We're now going to look at Conley's best career game. On March 5th, 2019, Conley dropped a career high of 40 points, his only 40 point game in his 13 NBA seasons. He made 12 of 18 shots and six of his seven threes as the struggling Memphis team took down the Blazers. And of his 40 points, he actually scored 19 of them in the final quarter. So he really did come in clutch, but we'll have to see if he can top this game later on in the future. So we've talked about Mike Conley and Greg Oden being teammates, but when they were teammates in high school and college and even going into the draft, 
Odin was always looked at as the better player of the two. Now, not only was Greg Odin ranked number one in high school, but of course he was drafted first overall too, with Conley being drafted fourth. We all know now who had the more successful NBA career, but then again, we never got to see the full potential of Greg Odin because the injury just ruined his career, so we never even knew what he could have been. Up until this year, Mike Conley had always been a Memphis Grizzly. He spent 12 years there, and because it's a franchise that hasn't seen much success, Success, he's all over the record books for them. He is the all-time leader in multiple statistical categories, including games played, steals, assists, offensive win shares, and also points. And when it comes to the assist, he's almost 2,000 ahead of the person in second, and that is Marc Gasol. And that is another player that played there for a while. But with John Morant now in Memphis, and he's looking like a future NBA star, these records held by Mike Conley could be in trouble if he stays with the Grizzlies for long term. But anyway, that's the video. Those were 10 things the media doesn't tell you about Mike Conley Jr. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more great and related content just like this. But that is all I have for you today. I am out.